It's Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Got a great one uh, from Robert Plant today and guitarist Robbie Blunt. Uh, for, it was the guitarist for uh, Robert Plant and uh, back in the early 80s or throughout the 80s. We're going to learn how to do Big Log. Uh, so this one has got some just really great guitar work in it throughout the whole song. Um, and so we're going to do the entire song because of that. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so I hope you guys will follow along. Before I get into it though, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so you know when I release a new video, so you can like and comment on them and, and all that good stuff. And uh, if you really wanna support what I do here on YouTube, the best way to do it is to actually just join my Guitar Academy, it keeps me going. You'll see a link to that in the description below. Um, that link will give you a free seven day trial to, to my Academy. And if you don't know anything about my Guitar Academy, it's a GL365 Academy and it contains all of my guitar courses covering everything from complete beginner stuff, complete beginner courses to more advanced courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone, and you know, many different styles. So please jump on over there and, and check it out and uh, uh, I hope to see you there. All right, let's jump into it here. I'm in standard tuning here. So we have this intro, which is just really cool and it's got a really great guitar tone on it too. I'm kind of halfway dialed it in here, but we're, uh, and it's kind of a clean sound. It's got a lot of chorus on there. Not a tone lesson, but, uh, you know, so I've got some chorus on a kind of a clean tone here and a little bit of delay and reverb as well. Um, so let's jump into this um, intro here. So uh, now he's played this a little bit differently. I've seen him play it um, live throughout the years with Robert Plant, and I've also seen really recent videos of him playing it with, like, you know, just the local band. <laughs> uh, but uh, he, so he plays a little bit differently here. Sometimes he uses a pick a lot for a lot of the strums, and sometimes he'll actually pluck. So um, I'm going to kind of do what I, I'm hearing here on the recording. So we can start here. But the first fret on the low E string kind of muted. And then pick the third fret, slide it to five. And then play th three five on the D, I'm oh, sorry, on the A string, goes up to the D note there. So look at this. Then the open A string. Now, when you hit that open A, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a, um, an A minor seventh chord. So it's gonna be the second fret there on the uh, D string, open G string, and then the first fret there on the B. So what I'm doing here to make it sound, because it kind of sounds snappy when he hits this chord. So we have this, hit the, pick the open A string and then take your other fingers and then kind of hybrid pick them. So you just pluck them with the fingers. So he does that riff a couple times. That's kind of the main riff of the song. So sure, this at the very beginning of the song here, this is like the single version. You're just going to hold that chord the second time through, and then, which is just kind of, you're going to pause and do the riff of the, real quick. And then you're just going to strum across three strings here or there. We're going to open A, second fret on the D, then open G. And that sets us up for this really cool guitar melody that he does um, a few times throughout the song. So the, and it's always slightly different each time, just mostly the ending, the endings of each little guitar melody section. So the first one there in the intro looks like this. So 
like I said, just some really, really nice stuff. So you're going to see that melody a couple times, and when he gets to the end is when he starts adding little variations, which we'll cover. So we're going to start this melody, 7th fret on the A and the D, kind of muted, palm muted there. Over to the 4 on the G string. Up to five, back down to four, back to five. From there, slide up to this seventh fret, still on the G string, and then play five, seven, and slide to nine. So then we have this. So that's going to be a unison bend. So we're going to have the 5th fret there on the B string being held. And then you're going to play the 7th fret on the G string. I'm going to bend that up a whole step. Till they match pitch. So, so bring this up to what matches the pitch of the one that you're holding on the B string. So after that, then you go 7, 5, 4 on the G string. And you kind of just kind of hammer on back to the five, pull back off to four, over to seven on the D, and then back to that four. So we have this. And then you kind of do that again. So you just kind of pick that five, then did the hammer pull from the four to five. Back to that seven on the D and that four on the G. So it's kind of the same lick. So now right here, it's a little bit, um, you see people play this kind of different ways, but what he's doing here, he actually grabs, even though we're in A minor, he grabs the major third there. So he's bending that up pretty quickly up a half step to the note, but he's resolving it. So it kind of gives us this little bit of a dissonance there. So it's a, it's a, you start bending and got a half step bend of the sixth fret on the G string. And then you kind of release a bit the bend. Then you play the C natural. Five, four. Hammer back on to five, pull off to four, slide down to two. So we have this. Then after you slide down to two, just gonna do that hammer, pull off, slide down to two, go over to five on the D string, and then back to that two on the G. And then we're going to do this lick again, which is going to be four, and then play two, hammer four, pull back off the two, over to five on the D, and then the two on the G. So we have this. All right, so so far we have this. Yeah, we have this. So that's kind of a little first descending sequence. We have this. So that's going to play the fifth fret there on the G over the fifth fret on the B. Then fourth fret on the G to third fret on the B. Then play the second fret there on the uh, G string. I'm using my middle finger there because then we're going to grab an F major 7th chord. So that's going to be the 3rd fret there on the um, D string, 2nd fret there still, still being held on the G, 1st fret on the B, and then the open high E is what makes it a major 7th. 
So when you get, you gotta pick across that. When you get to the high E string, he does a backward strum, and then he does it again. So he kind of mixes it up. Sometimes he'll do forward strums, and sometimes he's not really strumming. He's kind of just dragging the pick across the strings, that kind of flamenco thing. So we have this. Then the next little descending sequence. So that's up here at the seventh fret there on the D and fifth fret on the G. So it's kind of the same pattern we did over here, but we have this alternate picking across just going down up across these strings. So we have seven on the D, uh, five on the G, and then five on the D, four on the G. And then uh, just the uh, third fret there on the D string. That goes into an E minor chord. Let that ring, and then you're going to add a little fill up on, on top of it. So that's second fret there on the G. Slide up to four. Then pick the high E, e string open. Then pick this fourth fret again on the G again. And slide down to two and pull off the open string. Over to the second fret there on the D. So with this. So. From there we have this. So that's um, over here on the A string now, the 7th fret, and the 5th fret there on the D. So we have that 7 and 5, and then move it down to 5 on the A, 3 on the D, to the 3rd fret there on the A string. And then we're going to grab a D minor chord. So I'm just going to pick across from the D string all the way to the high E string. And then a little backward strum. And then we're going to end the lat with the last descending sequence. It's the same as the one we just did. Same thing, 7, 5, 5, 3, and then a third fret on the A, but it resolves to an A minor 7 chord. That's that A minor 7 that we did earlier, and then and into that riff. You kind of do that riff three times, and the last one you can just strum across, and that ends the intro. So it's got a lot going on there, I, I realize. As we get through the song, we will have some repeats, so I'll be able to say, yeah, you already know that, so nothing new there. But um, until we get there, we have a lot of notes to cover. Uh, but it's really cool. It's just some really nice guitar work throughout this song. All right, so then we're finally to the verse. Uh, so that's coming right out of that. So from there, we have this. So, it's kind of long there, so we kind of go into it from this intro. But what he does is he, he strum, when he strums across that A minor 7 that I talked about earlier to end the intro, and the vocals come in, we're then going to go up here and slide into the 5th fret there on the low E string, 7th fret on the A. So it's kind of like it's a, it's a power chord, but he's also letting the open D string ring underneath those chords. So it's, if you listen for it on the recording, you'll hear it because you hear a little, little, little note movement in there, and that's that open D 
and then and then into the that E note there. That's for that minor seven. So you're gonna hear this. So. So that, just slide into that power chord and just put, when you strum the strings, let it go across to the D string. And then back to the, um, the minor seven. And then we have this. Now this is kind of the same thing we did, except we're not, we're just gonna go. We're gonna move, open A string, then three on the A, two on the D, open G, into a D minor chord. Now here we're going to do the same thing we did before, but this time it's going to be off of a D power chord. So sliding into the 5th fret there on the A string and the 7th fret on the, the D, and once again, let the open G ring under. Because you're going to hear that kind of note uh, movement in the chord. So we have this. Now from there we have this. So that's the open A string. Slide into the fifth fret there on the A. Then the third fret there on the G, I'm sorry, the, the uh, D string. Then pull off two to zero on the G string. Now as you did that pull off, you're gonna grab, he grabs the um, F here on the first fret of the low E string with his thumb. And then slide it up to the third fret. So this. So after you get there, now you're going to add the bar here across the high E string of the third fret on the B and the high E. Now when he plays this sometimes, you're going to hear him play different rhythms there, so it's kind of just following along with what he's doing there. But that's the chord. He's, you can get the open G string in there as well. So that rhythm there kind of will slightly vary from time to time, so we have this. Then uh, we look like we're getting ready to start that main riff again. But it has a different little ending. So do the, the riff, the little five note riff. Then we have this. So that's the open A string so coming out of this. Get that open A ringing. You're gonna play the first fret on the high, uh, the, I'm sorry, on the B string. Then the open B. Then the uh, open G. So. Then grab that note again, the first fret there on the low E string. With your thumb there, and then grab the uh, first fret there on the B, followed by the open G string. Then pick that F, slide it up to the G, and then play that third fret there on the B. So, kind of a cool little move. So we have this. And then we kind of start the, the verse over again. Same thing we did before. I hit that a couple times, and this right here, second time through the verse, do that rhythm like that, and then move this down to the first fret. That's the first fret on the high E and the B, then the open G and the open D with it. Then he starts just kind of picking across it a little bit, leading us in just across those four strings, just kind of starting from the high E string. And then that takes us into the bridge of the song, which is my favorite part of the song. Really great chord work here, and a beautiful melody with it too, some nice harmony vocals. So this part looks like this.
All right, so we have um, some really nice stuff. So we have this chord. We're going to jump up here to the sixth fret there on the A, and then the sixth fret on the D as well. Fifth fret there on the G, and then sixth fret of it. Sometimes you'll see this written here. Uh, but he's actually playing it here, which sounds nicer to us, a little bit more mellow. So. That sixth fret on the B, fifth on the G, sixth on the D, and sixth on the A. So you're just basically going to pick from the A string all the way across to the B. Slight little pause, then play the G, D. So that's the picking pattern. Then down to this next chord. So this is going to be a bar to fourth fret. And you're going to play the 6th fret there on the D and 5th fret there on the G. So once again, we're just playing the 4 middle strings. So it's the 4th fret on the A and the 4th fret on the B being held by that bar. All right, so now after this, we're going to then take the bar and move it down 1 fret to the 3rd fret. Um, just bar it, so keep that bar there. And we're going to have the, in front of it, we're going to have the fifth fret there on the D and the um, sixth fret on the B string. So still the four middle strings, same picking pattern. So that's that, that third fret there on the A and the G being held by the bar. So, so far we had this. And what we're going to do is now come down here and just play a, one of those, um, you know, week two F, <laughs> your first bar chord, uh, where we're going to be playing now the third fret there on the uh, D string, second fret there on the G, and then barring across the first fret of the high E and the B. And so the, the on these four strings now, so it's the same picking pattern on those four. But just basically moved everything. Strings. So we have this. Now go back and repeat. All right, so after you've repeated that twice, you now just go straight back to this. Doing right there. Which is really kind of like a, a dominant seven sus chord. And then back to the F. And then go back to that C chord here and just strum across it. So we have this kind of so far. So, so the second time through this progression. this little kind of going back in. But before I get there, if you have trouble with these chords, just finding them. A little tip, I, I had somebody, you know, email me a few weeks ago asking about this section. They said they love this section, but they have a really hard time nailing the chords for it. So it's their favorite part of the song, as it is mine. And they asked for, for a tip for it. And I, I basically said, make sure you use a guide finger. So this is one of those parts that doesn't happen every time, but it does. You have a guide finger here that stays on the same string and can kind of help you find these chords. And that would be your ring finger here that's on the D string the whole time. So in this chord, it's on the D. And then when you move to the next chord, that finger just stays there. So it helps kind of give you like a home base here. And then when we go down to the next chord, once again, you're just moving that down on the same string to one fret, and then everything else can just fall in place around it. And then even getting down to the F, you move that down to the third fret. So those kind of tricks make chord changes a lot easier, because you have, you're not just going from one blank shape to the next. It's a lot easier. And he was able to get it pretty down pretty quickly after that. So the same thing with this jump up. 
you have that same guide finger key keeps working on that D string. All right, so after that, So that's that same lick we did in this rhythm, and then move it down, resolve it down to the first fret there on the B and the high E, with the open G ring in, and then do that again. And then we're going to end the bridge with the quick version of that riff again. He usually does that when we're getting ready to go to uh, either the verse or the little guitar melody, which we're getting ready to get to. So play those five notes quick, and then strum across the open A, second fret of the D, open G. That takes us to the guitar melody played again. It has a slightly different ending, so it looks like this. So that was basically the same. But basically, when we get here, slid down to two, you just kind of hold it for a second. So hold that note, and then. So we're just going to play the fourth fret on the G, then play a two, hammer four, pull back off to two. Then go over to the third fret there on the D string. Hold that for a second, and then play the open G, and then the first fret of the letter on the B. And then. So that was just that little different ending there. And then it gets um, just to, to the next verse. This verse is now we get into the section that we've covered before. Play pretty much like the first verse, except is that uh, at the end of the verse, it kind of we play that main riff kind of three and a half times. Kind of, kind of one of those things where you kind of. Do it in the third time. Just let that chord ring and then do a quick little, little ending there. And then that takes us, so there's nothing else different. It's just pretty much like the first verse. Uh, so yeah, let's get through it pretty quickly. And then we get to the third time of playing uh, the melody, which has kind of an extended ending here. So it looks like this. <laughs> So that was this, kind of the same thing until we get to down to that side of the two again, kind of. And actually, when he slid up, he does hit that nine this third time through. Just a little tension to detail, I guess. He hits that nine when he gets up top before he just let it ring. Here he hits it again up there. But anyway, that's a little minor thing. Everything else the same? When you get down to that second fret here, we're going to do this. Sorry, so we have, the, we have the, you're going to pick the fourth fret there on the, on the G. And you're going to do this two, hammer on four, pull off the two, over to the fifth fret on the D. You're going to do that twice. You're gonna play two, four, half step, bend and release there on the four. And then down to the two. And then we're gonna to go to this F 
major seventh chord across, pick across it like we did earlier. And then the same little de descending thing after that. That goes to the E minor chord. Now for this E minor, we have a different lick over it. So that's a bend up at the, a whole set, slow whole set bend up on the uh, second fret of the G. Then they quickly hit the open high E string and then you're gonna have the open G, hammer two, pull back off to the open G, over to two on the D. And then the same descending thing after, we did that in four. goes into the verse there. So back into the same verse again and things is kind of out of the that last verse we kind of have a solo that starts as it, it starts fading out pretty quickly when the solo hits. So if you guys want to know what's going on it's, it's just pretty much he's just kind of kind of just playing A minor scale so So that's all you need if you want to kind of do your own improv. I'm not going to cover that, so it kind of fades out really quick on the, the recording on like Spotify and stuff. So um, there's nothing really to transcribe there. But if you want to do your own thing there, just use the same scale as an A natural minor. It'll work just fine. If you don't know what that is, check out My Guitar Academy. You'll know it very well. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's got some great guitar work in it. Um, just, you know. Robbie Blunt, I, he, he's, yeah, I guess he worked with Robert Plant for quite a while, but he's still doing some stuff too. And he worked with a lot of great artists. So, um, you know, it's after hearing this and, and going transcribing this, it makes me want to go check out some more stuff that he did. So I'm sure you guys have some ideas of things I should listen to that Robbie Blunt did. So I'm all ears. I'd love to hear it. All right, I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com.